morning and congratulations to the Dartmouth graduating class of 2014. Look, it would be fine if this were 20 years ago. If it were back in the day when I graduated from Dartmouth. 23 years ago, I was sitting right where you are now. And I never imagined that I would one day be standing here, staring out at all of you, about to throw down some wisdom at the Dartmouth commencement address. Okay, so here comes the real deal part of the speech. Or you might call it some random stuff, some random alum who runs a TV show, thinks I should know before I graduate. You ready? Shonda Rhimes, creator of the TV shows Grey's Anatomy and Scandal, delivered this commencement address at Dartmouth University, from which she graduated in 1991. Her speech teaches listeners that hard work is what makes dreams come true and that no one's life can ever be perfect. With her lightheartedness and authenticity, Rhimes' speech can relate to anyone and give them a whole different outlook on life. When people give these kinds of speeches, they usually tell you all kinds of whys and heartfelt things. They have wisdom to impart. They have lessons to share. They tell you, follow your dreams. Change the world. Make your mark. Find your inner voice and make it sing. Dream. Dream and dream big. As a matter of fact, don't stop dreaming until all of your dreams come true. I think that's crap. <laughs> I think a lot of people dream, and while they are busy dreaming, the really happy people, the really successful people, the really interesting, engaged, powerful people, they are busy doing. The dreamers, they stare at the sky and they make plans and they hope. And they start a lot of sentences with, I want to be, or, I wish. And they talk about it endlessly. And it feels really good. You're talking about it and you're planning it. Kind of. You are blue sky in your life. And that is what everyone says you should be doing, right? I mean, that's what Oprah and Bill Gates did to get successful, right? No. Dreams are lovely. But they are just dreams. Fleeting, ephemeral, pretty. But dreams do not come true just because you dream them. It's hard work that makes things happen. It's hard work that creates change. So lesson number one, I guess, is ditch the dream and be a doer, not a dreamer. Maybe you know exactly what it is you dream of doing. Or maybe you're paralyzed because you have no idea what your passion is. The truth is, it doesn't matter. You don't have to know. You just have to keep moving forward. You just have to keep doing something, seizing the next opportunity, staying open to trying something new. It doesn't have to fit your vision of the perfect job or the perfect life, because perfect is boring, and dreams are not 